This time of Christmas is a very special time for family and friends to enjoy company, to celebrate and to be grateful for all the things we share and receive. It is also a time when we remember those who carry burdens, sometimes friends and those we love, sometimes we know their stories, such as those who were abused sexually in the church and in our province institutions. Let us continue as we hold those we love close to our hearts this Christmas, also hold close to our hearts those who are also suffering and carrying burdens at this time. There are three things I'd like to share with you today. The first is that we are releasing our second annual safeguarding report. This report has two key aspects to it. It lists the numbers of complaints that we've had in the last 12 months, and it goes through the recommendations of the Royal Commission and how we, as a province, wish to attend to those recommendations to collaborate and work across the province and with others in the church to achieve the recommendations they put before us. Secondly, we have appointed the former Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Victoria, the Honourable Marilyn Warren, to undertake a review of the transfer of an ex-Jesuit, Victor Higgs, from one school to another in 1971. There has been some concern about this transfer. We have listened to those concerns, and so we have appointed the former Chief Justice to do a review of that transfer, and we will publish her findings. The third point is regarding redress. As you may have heard, on Wednesday, the 12th of December, we and the majority of the Diocese of Australia were accepted into the redress scheme, a scheme that we committed ourselves to joining in 2017 when I first appeared at the Royal Commission. The gift of Christmas is the gift of a child. The gift of Jesus who comes to live amongst us to encourage us to care for one another, but especially for the young and the vulnerable and the children amongst us. So let us move forward in the year ahead, committed to listening, accompanying, and supporting those, especially the children and the most vulnerable in our midst. Thank you.